Find the best way to approach a guy you like online on Facebook, over text, in school, at the gym or at work without seeming desperate. These tips work even when you have not talked to this guy. Do you like someone or in general have thought about approaching a stranger across the room but didn't? Don't worry, it happens to every woman at least once in her lifetime. I know it's old school for today's generation, but I generally meet guys in the workplace or at parties or even at the bar at times. But what's not the old school is that today a girl can approach a guy and no one would judge her one bit. So, to all those fellow girls out there who sees and likes a guy across the room, just stand up and approach him. And if you don't know how to go about it, then just follow my lead and you won't seem desperate. You need to build confidence. First things first, to approach a guy you need some guts and a lot of confidence in yourself. You see, you can't just wait around for the perfect guy anymore because the chances are that dumb perfect guy is approached by some other bimbo out there. Secondly, you can't just approach a guy and then start acting all shy and dorky. So you need a lot of confidence to do this. But not to worry, the things that a girl need to feel confident or just pretend to be a confident woman are. Number 1. Dress sexy. Nothing makes a girl more comfortable in her skin when she knows that she looks hot. It's a well-known phenomenon that when a person knows they look good, they tend to relax a bit and, in doing so, develop a sense of confidence about themselves. So, for you to get some confidence, why not start with looking great? Secondly, how you look is of utmost importance as it is going to be the first thing anyone looks before getting to know you. So, clean yourself up, wear proper attire, put on nice sandals, and lastly have a nice fragrance on you. Once you know you look good, your confidence will increase, and you are ready to get out there. Number 2. Feel sexy. When you look good, you feel good. As you have dress sexy, you may feel sexy as well. Just loosen up a little, don't take yourself too seriously for at least some part of the day. Feeling sexy is all about being comfortable with just who you are and enjoy a little. If you are comfortable showing some skin then do it, if not. Then don't. Just do whatever makes you feel good, to accept going to a party or a bar in your sweatpants, I mean there is a limit to everything. First impressions before approach The first impression is all about getting their attention and creating some attraction between the two of you. And if you have done the above two steps to feel confident, then no doubt, your first impression would be good enough. Let's see how we can use more of this. First impression to approach a guy you like. Number 1. Eye contact. Once you have picked a guy you like then the fun starts. First, make eye contact with the guy and if you are not in his visual range, then get in it but don't do something drastic. Believe me, after the first impression there are certainly going to be some eyes on you. So pick one, and stay with it. Making eye contact is fun but don't linger for too long. Just take a peek and then look around the room and go back again. It's like pinball. You make eye contact and then look away. Number 2. Sly smiles. After making eye contact a couple of times it's time to combine it with sly smiles. What you do know is that you look at him, and as soon as he looks at you, give him a smile and look away, and then back at him again. This is what a sly smile is, and the way it works is that guy knows that you were looking at him, and that you are interested. And that smile was an invitation for him. Doing this a couple of times would be enough to make him approach you. Here are some different methods to approach a guy. Sometimes it happens that a guy is shy or not confident enough to approach you, and that's when you have to do it. If you like a guy, then just go for it, there's nothing wrong with. After all, it's the 21st century. Guys today are so into technology that they have actually forgotten how the games work. But now that you are a confident woman, you don't have to wait around, you can just go, and approach a guy online, or in person at work, school, or at the party. Now, before doing Thatum learn the three different kinds of approaches mentioned here. Number 1. Simple approach. The simple approach is where you get a friend to make the introductions or you just go by yourself and have a nice chat with him. This doesn't necessarily mean that you are interested. That gives you plenty of opportunities to back off if you find out he is not that interesting. Another way of simple approach is when you take your friends along for the chat. This way it is not awkward anymore. 
but I recommend you, go by yourself and let him see you coming. So, he is ready. This way he knows that you are interested and have a chance to open up a bit more. Number 2. Damsel Approach. Damsel's approach is a bit more classic or dares I say vintage. In the early days, women used to drop their napkins to show that they are interested. And the guy who picked it up would be considered as interested as well. We are just taking the principle of that time, and using it as an approach. Ask a guy for a drink suggestion, or asking a guy for directions, or something obvious that you can figure it out yourself. Sometimes I even go for the vintage one in its pure form throwing a handkerchief down to see if there is a gentleman around. These all damsel approaches start their own type of conversations and then you take it from there. Number 3. Bold Approach. Now, this is getting serious. A bold approach is calling a guy out on how attracted he is to you. Two ways I use this approach. The first is when I send a drink to the guy who is making eye contact and smiling back at me. And second is. I ask the guy for a dance. Of course, I find out beforehand if a guy likes to dance or about his ordered drink from the bartender. Although, the bold approach may seem a little out there, then again, the chances of success with a bold approach are also that much high. If you are confident and it seems that the guy is also not very shy, then use this method to approach a guy you like. Conversations matter. Once they approached the guy, and you two have started talking, now is the time for the reality check. I mean, if you like him enough to date him, or just want to get it over with. Some guys look great from a distance, but once they start talking, they are as dumb as a bunny. So, have a nice conversation and try to get the lay of the land properly. I mean, check his sense of humor and attentiveness. And to do that here are your two tools, verbal flirting and visual flirting. Verbal flirting. Some of the girls I know get freaked out during the flirting period. They gather up enough courage to approach a guy but don't know how to take it any further. Just chill, this is the fun period there will be a lot of serious conversations later, this is supposed to be an easy part. If you don't know how to go about it then just mirror what he guy is doing, because he is probably flirting with you. Have a good sense of humor, tease him a little and don't take anything too much seriously. If all else fails, then use your laughter as it always works. Visual flirting. Verbal flirting is all good and fine, but when it comes to visual flirting, it needs a bit of focus. Apart from focus, it also needs a pinch of shy and at times bold. Visual flirting is to draw the guy's attention where you want. Like if you want him to kiss you, then make him think about it. While listening to him, bite your lower lip on one side just a little. Doing that will immediately draw his attention to your lips, and guy being a guy would start thinking about kissing you. Similarly, if you want him to look at your face, then gently put curl of your hair behind your ears. If you want to draw attention to your legs, then rub it while looking at them, and then back at him again. A guy's eyes will follow yours anywhere it goes, so, use it to get what you want. The end of conversation. After having a conversation, if you think the guy is not for you, then leave him by making a simple excuse, and even if the guy is your type, leave now. You see, after a nice conversation, you need to leave before the conversation dies down, and you too get bored. Always remember to leave on a high note. This way you leave him wanting more, and that gets you a date. Just make any simple excuse and leave. The guy won't really try to stop you, as he doesn't want you to know that he is interested just like you are. But this gives him a chance to ask you out. If he doesn't, that you might as well go for it, because the chances are you may never see him again. Lastly, all I want to say is, if you like someone who goes for it. Don't wait around for the perfect guy to come around because life is short. Just say to yourself, 30 seconds, that's all the time you need to approach a guy and say, hello, and then you just take it from there. The worst that can happen will be if the guy would say no. Well, there's plenty of other guys than this douchebag. Just remember this 30 seconds rule and you will be fine. For that, I have a very specific recommendation. Click the link in the description and I will show you how to amaze a man and pull him closer to you like never before. Discover something every man is secretly obsessed with. It's something he craves. More than love. More than money. Even more than sex.
This one secret obsession holds the key to winning a man's love, attention, and total devotion for life but not one woman in a thousand even knows it exists. And those that do, almost never share it with another soul. Please subscribe to our channel. Like the video. And share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.